afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Emmanuel again. So today I'm here to put you guys through regarding the PYPL withdrawal. You know, I've been I've been noticing that some individuals have been having some issues withdrawing on on their PYPL to their Binance account using the crypto withdrawal method which is this place using this particular place it always um, refund you know when they send it out it says refunded back to the application so some individuals are having some issue sending their funds out of PYPL. So I will be showing you guys on how to use the card or not to use this particular card on Binance. It is not even necessary to use the crypto withdrawal. Once you fund your account, let me say you click on this, you fund your account. Fund your account to the right channel. Then it, you know how how it goes. You fund your account by putting your, you know, your details. So immediately you put your details. I'm just putting anything so. You guys can understand what I'm, I'm doing. Once you put your details, you put in the amount and you complete the step. So immediately you complete the step and you see that your money is now showing here. It's not funded on the account. It's not showing here. What you have to do is you go straight to your Binance. You click on trade. Then you click on Fiat, you can see this particular place. Once you click on Fiat, you change it from Naira, you can see it here, to USD. Once you change it from Naira to USD, you click on Buy. You can see it buy crypto. So once you click on buy crypto, you click on USDT or you search for USDT. Mm -hmm. So let me assume that what you have in this PRYPL side is um, $49. You can see. The transaction I did. Let me go to your transaction history. So you see the transaction I did yesterday. So yesterday I funded fifty dollars on this account. You can see it. We are circle August 29, 2022, around 8 p.m. in the evening. I funded uh, uh, fifty dollars. Can see it confirmed and um, after everything after the deduction of the fees you can see they deducted about one point one one dollar seventy five cents for you know fees PYPF fees for loading from local payment so now I tried 
loading the card to my using my um, power pay card to load it on my binance because i put 80 uh, 48 dollars 25 cents the whole thing it didn't go through so i had to leave some amount i have to put about uh, $47 so they can charge me for fee so what I did was to put $47 I'm just using the amount I use but any amount you are using if it is $18 you put you should put $17 here if it is $20 you put you should put $19 because of the fees so when I put in $70 uh, $47 if you just type for $7 you click on buy you can see how much I will receive. That is about forty-five dollars something. So if I click on continue now, you can see. Look, this is the exact amount I will receive in USDT. That is forty-four dollars ninety-three cents because they are still charging me fees yeah you can see so the only thing i need to do is i'll click confirm but if i click confirm it takes me to this is because the reason it's showing like this is because i've already put my card my card is there already but for you guys own For you guys only you have to put your card they will ask for your card details so if they will ask for your card details if they ask for your card details you put the whole details then they will ask for your the billing address they just put your 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 present location on the billing address that is your normal address on the billing address that's after you have put in your card so it's going to take you to this place what you do is you click on this place that I highlighted. So once you click on it, they are going to send you a a code. You can see we have sent you an OTP to your PYP app. Please open your PYP app to retrieve the uh, OTP and enter below. You should enter it here below. So, what you do is you minimize, you go to your PYP app just like this. I'm just demonstrating what I did. You click on this place, you see where the right OTP you can see it here. So, if you click on it, it's going to load. In this place you are going to see an OTP that's going to send that is going to be sent to send to you I don't have any money that's why I'm not seeing any OTP you understand me so but on a good day immediately you have cash and there's something that that they will debit you are going to see an OTP that's going to appear you will copy it and paste it in this place once you paste it you submit it's going to immediately debit your card you understand it's going to immediately debit your card and it's going to be automatically credit on your binance it's as simple as that so it's not necessary you use the crypto send option on PYPL again you can always use their card to fund your Binance at the same rate. So let me assume that you fund your Binance and at the end of the day you got $44.93 like you see, like you saw. You can see it. Like you saw $44.93. So after doing that, 
what will happen now is If you go to P2P Let's see, I search from 25. Hmm. Let me see, I want to sell. I will type $44.93. You can see this is approximately 30, 31,299. 31, Meanwhile, what I used initially to fund my account to fund the fifty dollars was twenty five thousand five hundred minus thirty one thousand two nine nine. You see, you'll be making a profit of five thousand naira. You see, so it's as simple as that. You don't necessarily need to use the crypto send again, that will now be bouncing back, or that will now be telling you um, refunded. If you are getting um, value from this. Um, video please ensure you click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to receive important updates and educative updates that can enable you make money online and click on the like button if you are getting any form of value from this video so i believe this will solve the problem of individuals trying to send out of their POYPL and they are getting crypto refund every time. Thank you and remain blessed. Bye for now.